everyone, this is Dan and welcome back to the shop. Today I can proudly say that I have 151 raw horsepower right between my legs. Oh, I almost forgot, I'm also sitting on this really cool snowmobile. And for today's project, we're going to be taking this bad boy apart just to let you guys see what's inside a snowmobile and how it works. Well, here we have a 2007 Ski Do Summit 800cc two stroke with a long track and 151 horsepower. Now, aside from some of you that work on these machines and know how they operate, the rest of us who never rode a snowmobile might assume that it's similar to an ATV, except this one has two skis and one track instead of four tires. But let me tell you, I think you might be surprised at what you learned here today. So let's take this snowmobile apart and see what's inside. Well, here we have it. This is the snowmobile that I took apart. I did lay the parts down on the ground so you guys can see. I am going to be going over things, but I'm going to be doing it pretty quickly just because I don't want this to be a very long video. Now, let's get to it. These are the plastics for the snowmobile. This is the speedometer with the plastic housing. Uh, this is a snow guard so you don't shoot your buddy that's behind you on the snowmobile. This is the rear tail light. This is a plastic cover for the back of the seat. This is a uh, gas tank. I was surprised, a little bigger than I thought, but what do you expect? This is a high rev motor. This is the seat itself that goes over the gas tank. That's how it was hidden. Um, this is the air filter box. Here's a part of the exhaust system. This is the oil reservoir. Now this is the two stroke oil reservoir that gets mixed before it gets into the motor. You don't have to mix it in with the gas and then pour it in. Um, this is for a two stroke motor, which this is. Now, this is pretty important. This is a secondary clutch for a CVT transmission. Yes, this snowmobile has a CVT transmission. I'm not gonna go into it, into it with, into depth, but if you wanna see how a CVT transmission works, you can go on YouTube. There's plenty of videos out there. But uh, just to go over it quickly, this is a, a secondary clutch. The primary clutch is on the motor, and then we have this belt that's on the ground that goes between them. And all it does is with centrifugal force, this separates and compresses changing the diameter of the wheel, which uh, changes the speed of what you're traveling. So, that's that. These are aluminum brackets for the A-frame. Uh, here's just some uh, gas throttles. Now, this is the belt. It's a really hefty belt. This is for the CVT transmission. Now, this is the motor for the snowmobile. It's a Rotex Bombarder. It's a two-stroke, two-cylinder. does have 151 horsepower stock. This one was upgraded a little bit. Here's the, the rest of the exhaust, this is the manifold that connects to the rest of the exhaust system. Okay, now we're not gonna be going, I'm not gonna be taking this thing apart and to go into depth because this is a pretty long video. We are gonna be making a separate video uh, for this and show taking this completely apart and seeing the internals and how this uh, two-stroke uh, snowmobile motor works. Now, this is the <clears throat> dual carburetor that does attach right to the motor. Here we have the light. This is the pull start assembly, some hoses, another part of the pull start. That's the CVT cover, transmission cover. This is the antifreeze uh, cooler filler bottle. Okay. Now, uh, before I pick up the camera and I kind of show you around on this, um, I did want to point out to you that this is the main, main difference, which I, found, I find very interesting. So, <clears throat> from the cooler box, from the motor, these two lines, which I'll show you on the camera better, after there's a plate under here this whole thing is pretty much tiny little tube so it's almost like a radiator but technically I'm calling it a radiator but it doesn't look like a radiator even if you look underneath you will never get a radiator but they go under the seat underneath the gas tank and while you're driving the snow kicks up and it melts and it cools down the motor I'm not sure if it's because of the way it's shooting or does the snow is the snow really more effective than uh, radiator with the wind and electric fan, but for the most part, this is pretty similar to an ATV. You got the upper control arm, lower control arm. You got the shock. You got the steering uh, rack. You have the, the steering wheel shaft. You got the steering wheel. You got the throttle. Um, it's pretty similar, but the difference. One major difference is it, this does have brake, okay? But it's only one brake, and it's for only one thing. It only has one caliper. Uh, the caliper is in charge of one disc that stops the whole track, and I'll show you that later. But the front 
okay, that is similar to an ATV or to you know some other you know equipment that you might be driving a, a three wheeler, um, golf carts, you know, it doesn't have wheels obviously, but it doesn't have brakes because it's skis, so that's a very big difference. Um, a quad has brakes in the front, very important. You can't just be braking with just you know the back wheels; you'd be sliding around. But in this case, the track is very big. That's why when it brakes with the track, it's very effective. <clears throat> so aside from that, I'm just gonna pick up the camera and start showing you what are the cool things about this machine. All right. Well, we went over this now. The things that you really couldn't see that I didn't point out yet either. I just didn't want to point them for no reason. This is the ECM computer. You got the wiring harness. Um, there's another computer in the bottom. You can't really see it. <clears throat> this right here, like I said, this is the brake system that breaks the track, okay? Um, over here, this is the, there's a couple gears here and all it, this does is transfers this rod to this rod, okay, because the motor does sit in here, okay, and um, it's connected to the uh, the CVT transmission. the the main CVT The main clutch is in the front. Secondary clutch is right here, okay, and the belt goes between them. So this is what separates this. The belt, literally, you cut the belt, you have you, you can't go anywhere. So the secondary clutch here. This shaft is on bearings comes through here, goes through the brake. This is what stops it. So this is the caliper that is responsible for all the braking. So your caliper brakes, you got no more braking. Um, and the rod goes right, kind of right around here. And then the gears, I'm not gonna take this apart because there's oil there, it goes to the second gear and it's on another shaft with two bearings. And when I flip, it, flip this over, you will see. Now, this is all aluminum. Okay, now you could take this apart into little pieces, but like I said, it's riveted everywhere. It's almost ridiculous to take it apart. So if this ever gets damaged, might as well just flip it and get a new one, get a new snowmobile, whatever it is, you're not gonna be changing little parts. Now, this is where you put your feet. It's really rough. Um, obviously both sides has plenty of places where the snow can go right through. This is a high rise steering wheel with a big puller on the top. So aside from that, there's really not much left to talk about. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip this over. Okay. All right. So here we go. Um, this is the track. Now, as you can see, this is what I was talking about. This under carriage here, that's what's responsible for the cooling. Little lines go through there. Now, if you look at it like I did, I would never guess until I realized myself what it was. Um, now this is the track really thick because this is a high, um, this is a long track and it's made for really thick snow. These, uh, these, uh, grabbers or whatever you want to call them are really thick versus small ones. If you have a, just a regular snowmobile. Now you have suspension right here. This allows this whole thing to move. Okay. You just have the wheels to keep everything in line and rolling. This is the main bottom of the track just to keep the formation. So the snow, when you're driving, whatever, it doesn't matter what you hit snow logs, it just kind of rolls right up on us. So you can't really get anything jammed in there. Now, this is what from the, from the brake to the gears, to the shaft, this is what that shaft turns. Okay. It's plastic. I'm surprised. It's probably very dense plastic, very strong plastic, but you can see it's a wheel with all these uh, indentations, which these indentations kind of work almost like a, a bobcat, a track bobcat, but it's, this is obviously plastic because it doesn't really need to push 10,000, 20,000 pounds, but those turn and they turn the track. Okay, and then it comes back. So that is it pretty much. This is the snowmobile from the bottom. This is the skis. You can see the lower control arm, uh, the tire, uh, the steering rack, the upper control arm, suspension, very similar to any other machine, except this one has a track. Well, this is it folks. Well guys, this is it. Thank you for watching this video. Hopefully you liked it. If you did, please subscribe. It definitely helps. Now there will be more videos to come of things we're gonna be taking apart, starting with the snowmobile motor. But if you guys want to see something specific taken apart, please leave a comment down below and we'll see what we can do about that. Thank you.